Over the last few years, there has been a breakthrough in the number of low-cost drone platforms developing. However, there are no hardware platforms available for long-duration underwater missions. This underwater glider uses commodity hardware and 3D printed components, making this a low-cost, open-source and versatile underwater data recorder. In order to dive, the glider uses a buoyancy engine that takes in water, which makes the glider more dense than its surroundings, causing it to descend. The hydrofoils convert this downwards motion into lateral movement, and the inverse occurs while the glider is ascending. The buoyancy engine only uses power when transitioning from ascending to descending or vice versa, allowing for a mission duration of days or weeks and allowing them to travel far greater distances than covered with a conventional underwater autonomous vehicle. Within the glider there are three main systems, the buoyancy engine, pitch and roll. The buoyancy engine consists of six large syringes which are controlled using a high precision stepper motor. When the syringes take in water, the glider gains mass and becomes more dense than the surrounding water, causing it to descend. The glider can then ascend by expelling the water. The pitch of the glider is controlled by moving a central mass, consisting of the glider's batteries and some steel rods. A second stepper motor is used to move this mass along the length of the glider, causing the centre of mass to move forwards or backwards, affecting the glider's angle of attack. In order to turn underwater, the glider uses another stepper motor to rotate the central mass. As the central mass is bottom heavy, when the mass is rotated, the centre of mass of the glider moves away from the centre of the tubing, causing the glider to undergo roll. The resulting tilt of the glider causes it to turn slowly. The control board of the glider is mounted at the back of the glider and uses an Atmel microcontroller. The control board has a depth sensor and gyroscope attached, which could allow for the addition of a PID algorithm to accurately control the glider's pitch whilst gliding. The control board is programmed via Fathom S serial communication boards from Blue Robotics, connected by a neutrally buoyant cable. This cable can be attached to program the glider underwater, or it can be removed so the glider runs autonomously. Future versions of the glider will integrate with the Pixhawk hardware platform and the Autopilot Mission Planner to allow for route planning and autonomous missions. The current motor board can act as a motor controller slave board for the Pixhawk board. As underwater gliders move relatively slowly through the water, there is little disturbance to their surroundings, making them ideal for monitoring underwater conditions. Currently, there is only the sensor at the back which can be used to monitor depth and temperature. The entire design is completely open source, with the PCBs being designed in Eagle and all software being kept up to date on GitHub. On the Glider's Hackaday page, there is a Dropbox link to the live development folder containing all files related to the Glider. The 3D printed components are modelled in both OpenSCAD and Onshape, a cloud-based CAD package that is free to use and allows for parametric designs. I have utilised this so you can print a series of test prints and enter values into the Onshape document according to the dimensions of the test prints and this generates a set of parts which are best suited to your printer to minimise post-processing.